Today I will be explaining mitosis and meiosis. So before I start explaining mitosis and meiosis, I will explain the structure of a chromosome. So the chromosome has two arms, the short arm and the long arm. It also has two telomeres here and the center is called the centrum. So these, so the centrum splits the chromosome into two parts. Like this. And each half is a chromatid. That's important to know because in um, for meiosis and, my, and mitosis, because in mitosis and in meiosis, um, sometimes the chromatids separate and sometimes the chromosomes separate, which I'll go into further detail in later. So first, mitosis. So in both mitosis and meiosis, the starting phase is interphase. Interphase is where the cell spends 90% of its time in the cell cycle. It's where the cell grows, it uh, rep replicates its DNA. And replicating its DNA is important before it goes into mitosis or meiosis because since the cells are getting divided, because mitosis and meiosis are processes of dividing cells, it is necessary for the uh, cells to have their DNA replicated. So mitosis is for body growth and development as well as repair. So if you get a cut or uh, for growing in height or something, um, that's when my mitosis will be used as cell division to create more cells. And it's used in most of the body cells. Meiosis is special. It's used for only sperm and egg cells, um, or more formally gametes. And it's mostly used for sexual reproduction. And that's why there's so much genetic variety within offsprings of just one pair of uh, parents. So the next phase is pro <coughs> is prophase. So in prophase, the chromosomes condense, meaning that they thicken, and the nuclei and the nucleus of the cell is still there. And in metaphase, which is also M for middle, the chromosomes line up in the middle of the cells in a single file line. At this point, the nucleus has disappeared. So the next is anaphase. And anaphase, I also like to remember A for away. So in anaphase, the chromatids of each of these chromosomes separate into opposite sides of the cells. And they don't go off on their own. They're, uh, they're pulled apart by spindles, which are these things over here. And these are the chromatids. So that's why I explained the structure of a chromosome earlier. So a cell has 46 chromosomes. And when it... Um, and when there's mitosis, there's still only 46 chromosomes because even though the number of uh, chromosomes have replicated, it's based, the DNA replication has occurred. The, it's only um, replicated a chromatid on the other side of the centromere and chromosomes are counted by the number of centromeres. So there's two chromatids in one chromosome. So there's still 46 chromosomes in each cell that's formed at the end. So... Then in telophase, the cells start to form their own nuclei and, and cytokinesis is the process where the cytoplasm of the cell splits apart and two new cells are formed. Then in mitosis, interphase is there again and So mitosis is kind of similar, except that, no, not mitosis. Meiosis is similar, except that it is for sexual reproduction and four new cells are formed, not two. And these cells are not identical. So first it starts with interphase, which is basically the same as in mitosis. And in prophase one, the chromosomes condense and the nucleus of the cell is still there. But additionally, the chromosomes, uh, the chromosomes form homologous pairs and cross over their DNA. So then when they line up in metaphase one, the chromosomes do not line up in a single file line because they're still attached to their homologous pairs. So they line up in two uh, file lines. And then in anaphase one, the chromosomes are pulled apart from one another, not the chromatids. 
and then in telophase one and cytokinesis is the same thing as before um the nuclei of the cell start to form and uh in telophase one and cytokinesis splits up the cytoplasm of the cell then in prophase two is very similar to mitosis because there's no crossing over in homologous pairs this chromosomes just start to thicken and condense then in metaphase two this time the chromosomes line up in a single file line because there's no homologous pairs and in anaphase two the chromatids are pulled apart to opposite sides of the cells of the cell by spindles and then telophase two the nuclei start to form in cytokinesis the cytoplasm of the cell is split up and forms four um non-identical haploid cells so some differences between mitosis and meiosis so as i might have said earlier mitosis is for body growth and development and for body repair meiosis is for sexual reproduction and what results in genetic variety mitosis results in two identical diploid cells and meiosis results in four non-identical haploid cells meiosis also results in four cells so it, uh, the, the steps are doubled and there's also crossing over in the homologous pairs in the beginning which results in the genetic variety <laughs>